Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we are exploring the universe, talking about all things No Man's Sky today, because we have a tease of what is to come in the first year of No Man's Sky's life. So No Man's Sky takes players on a journey across the universe with the ability to hop from galaxy to galaxy and planet to planet. Let's just say it is a very, very big game. Hello Games estimates the main story arc of getting to the center of the universe could take a player around 40 hours at bare minimum. That is to say a player doesn't do any side activities or explore whatsoever, which of course is going to be the core experience of No Man's Sky. If you're not exploring, you're doing it wrong. But if you just want to cut to the chase, you can just get to the center of the universe in roughly about 40 hours, they estimate, and there will be a, a kind of an ending to the game, they say. But what can we expect beyond getting to the center of the universe? Well, Sean Murray teased to Edge Magazine that the first year of No Man's Sky would be seeing ground vehicles a more extensive terraforming weapon tool, and what a lot of you will be dying for, full-blown multiplayer support with traditional multiplayer modes. So let's start out with the multiplayer, of course. It would be fantastic to see a proper cooperative mode introduced to No Man's Sky, as at launch, the occurrence of running into other players will be quite rare. This will make stumbling onto an actual player that much more exciting, though, but we do hope you can explore the entire universe eventually with a friend. I mean, can you imagine? That would be freaking awesome. By traditional multiplayer modes, we're curious to see if this will support matchmaking for PvP game modes. That would be really cool. Besides, it would make sense because there are warring factions in No Man's Sky, so I think it would work within the actual story too. It would be nice to have an option of being able to just jump into something more instant, just in case if you know, you're know you getting kind of bored of the exploration, you can just jump into something that's more instant. But I think for me, one of the biggest draws to No Man's Sky is definitely the exploration. As for ground vehicles, you may remember the Mako from Mass Effect. If No Man's Sky plans to mirror what they are doing with their spacecraft, we'd expect to possibly see several classes of ground vehicle, of course, I am completely speculating on that one, but I would imagine they would go all in on this. Some that are meant for combat, scientific discoveries, or loading up for trade. But adding ground vehicles later in the game as opposed to earlier might actually be awesome in more ways than one. Because remember that planet you couldn't fully discover because it was practically one-to-one -one scale to Earth? Yes, planets like those do exist in No Man's Sky. Well, now with a ground vehicle, you have a better opportunity to explore. Now, what about that terraforming tool? We will be getting a multi-tool in No Man's Sky, which will have the ability to uh, basically terraform the environment and go into the planet's surface and discover caves and that sort of thing. Now, further advancing the terraforming tool as the game progresses would mean the player could possibly end up making his own structures or caves from the very planet he's standing on this is where I think we may see eventually some cool base building mechanics introduced to No Man's Sky, which I do believe would add so much more to the game. It's one thing to be able to discover a planet and name it, and in that manner claim it. It's another to be able to build something of your own on your planet to call it home. So the first year of No Man's Sky sounds like it'll be one wild ride. It sounds like Hello Games wants players to get used to the mechanics by themselves first in single player, which is going to be a ton of fun, then open up the new mechanics along the way and finally multiplayer. The good news is the game does support complete offline play, but let's hope it all works out because this game sounds freaking amazing. Look forward to more No Man's Sky updates right here at Open World Games, and thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys soon enough somewhere in distant space.